So thank you very much, brethren, and good morning. Welcome to today's uh, devotion. Today is Wednesday, the 30th. Uh, today is Wednesday, the 30th uh, of uh, June uh, 2021. So we are going to continue with the, with the theme of barrier to effective outreach. The theme uh, of uh, barrier to effective outreach. And this today I'll be leading from the book of Ephesians, so chapter 6. And verses 10 to 20. And the, 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 the dominant here idea here is the full armor of God. The full armor of God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for having awakened us today. As we go out to our daily activities, we pray that you may guide us in the path of life. In this moment, as we meditate and devote ourselves to your word, we pray that you may give us a dominant thought that will guide us and that will empower us and equip us and give us a stronger desire to break the barriers to effective witnessing. Grant that we shall offer ourselves and that we shall be overcomers. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, brethren, today I want to talk about the armor of God and I will be Meditating over this word from the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6, brethren, and uh, verses 10. Ephesians chapter 6 and verses 10 to 20, and I lead for you. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in, in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Our struggle is not against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth backward allowed your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the leadiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, Take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the framing arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasion with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all saints. Praise the Lord. Brethren, today I want to talk about the full armor of God, and I want to refer to these barriers. The barriers I want to refer to today is what we call dialect oppositions, dialect warfare against the will and plan of God, staged, planned, executed, it is executed by the devil himself. It is executed by uh, powers of darkness. It is executed by a big army, a combination of Satan himself, demons and powers of darkness, and also by evil-minded people. This is a great barrier. It's a barrier to the spread of the gospel. It's a barrier. Brethren, I wish to unveil this is that the spiritual forces of darkness as a big obstacle, it's a big barrier which Christian witnesses will always have to contend with and against. Our brother Paul encourages brethren to be strong. He tells us, be strong in the Lord for us to become a Christian witnesses. One of the reasons that Christians are shying away is because of these barriers. 
It is because we will find opposition. You remember there before that we talked about uh, shame. The shame comes from people who are opposing witnesses by scorning them, by blaming them, by accusing them falsely and without cause. All that is a kind of opposition. But this opposition can become even stiff. It can become even stiff. Because you see here, our brother Paul is, is referring, them, uh, 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 referring to them as the devil's schemes. The devil's scheme. They are great barriers. They are devil's scheme. And we must know them. And we must be courageous against them. Paul encourages us to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Here, brethren, outreach missions are represented as battles against the devil and his schemes. Outreach, brethren, is a warfare. We, we are actually going out to the enemy camp. You remember Jesus referred to his church and he said, on this rock I shall build my church. And even the gates of hands will not overcome it. You know, when we are going for outreach, we are actually taking the battle to the enemy camp to go fight the battle there. Not many times that the enemy will come to the church and start fighting us. Even when he comes and starts fighting Christians from within, he really disguises. But he will not confront us directly within our comfort zone. But when we decide now to leave our comfort zone and go to the battlefield to win souls, we, we must know that we are now engaging the enemy himself. We are engaging the enemy himself. In verses 12, Paul refers to what is described as his struggles. In verses 12, if you read verses 12, for our struggles is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against authorities and against powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Our struggle. When we talk about going out for outreach, we must know that we are going. It is a struggle. It is a struggle. It is a struggle against these powers of darkness. It is a struggle against the spiritual forces of evil. It is a struggle against rulers of this present age. It is a struggle against authorities. It is a struggle against powers. So, brethren, the picture presented here is that it is a warfare. And if you go down there, you see how Paul is advising brethren. He's telling us that, therefore, because it is a warfare, we must be prepared. And he's advising us to put on the full armor of God. To put on the full armor of God. So Paul advises the uh, uh, believers to put on the full armor of God, which includes telling the truth, which includes righteousness, which includes the gospel of peace, which includes faith, which includes sword of salvation, uh, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. He calls believers to live a life of prayer in the Spirit, to pray at all times. This is how we have to arm ourselves because going out, going out is a struggle, it's a warfare. So that is why when we win a soul, when we win a soul, brethren, there is great joy in heaven because we, are, but we, we, are, we have won one, one soul. And the Lord Jesus Christ has committed himself. Him who sends us to the vineyard, he commits us, himself to be with us to the close of the age. He he. He, he has given us assurance. And Paul says, we are more than conquerors through Christ who gives us the strength. Brethren, we are more than conquerors. We shall not be defeated. Sorrow in us, harvest us, 
witnesses, those of us who are going out to win souls, I can give you this confidence. I can give you this confidence that we are more than congress. We shall not be defeated. We have armed ourselves with the gospel of peace. We have armed ourselves with the sword of salvation, the sword of the Spirit. We have faith in Christ. Brethren, we shall not be defeated. Our activity is Elisha's activity. We are witnesses of the truth. We are not liars, neither are we deceiving. We know the truth, and that is what we are doing. We are inviting people in the truth. In summary, brethren, what is coming out here is that evil powers of darkness against which we are contending. It is important, therefore, that for all Christians going out for outreach, they must be aware of these powers and, the, 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 and they are evil. Prance against us. It is our brother Paul has given us ways to deal with them. And that is what we need to know. How do we deal with them? How do we deal with them? He has given us the, how we are going to deal with them. We are going to arm ourselves with the full armor of God. For us to deal with these powers, we are going to arm ourselves with the full armor of God. Praise the Lord. And what is the full armor of God? He says, stand firm, firm with belt of truth backward allowed your waist. And then he says, with the breast of righteousness. Righteousness is important here, brethren. And he says, uh, he says, uh, and with your feet fitted, no, 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 we, are, we, are, we are back there. He says, uh, he says, the breast press of righteousness in praise, and with your feet fitted with the leadiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And in addition to this, take up the shield of faith. Take up the shield of faith. Be a person who really believes without doubt that what God has told us, he will do. That he will stand with us. That he will stand with his word to prove it and to make it come true. With which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of evil. Arrows will come. will be insulted. will be ridiculed. will be blamed. will be accused. But we shall not fear. Because God will protect us. We have the shield of faith with which we can extinguish all the, all the framing arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation. We must have the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. And above all, we must be people who pray. Therefore, brethren, we are overcomers. Let us not fear. The history has shown from the times of the early church, harvesters have been persecuted. Harvesters have been stoned at some point. Harvesters have been accused. Harvesters have been thrown to, into the prison. Even here in Kenya, we know of times when the church was persecuted. We remember the ministries of Dr. Gitali in, in, in Kirinyaga. We remember the ministries of Archbishop Manasseh Skulia in All Saints Cathedral. We remember the ministries of Dr. Okuru. But they never gave up. They were in the mission of God to transform our society. But they never feared. In the same way, when we go out to win souls, let us not fear. Let us stand firm and we shall overcome. The Bible says we shall overcome. Today, when you are going out to talk to a soul, Today, when you are convicting, when you are convincing, when you are persuading, when you are sharing the word of God, the good news of salvation, when you are witnessing, fear not, the Lord is there with you, standing with you to prove his word, standing with you to persuade this soul to come to your side, to come to believe in Christ Jesus. You have not sent yourself. You have been sent by Christ. You have been commissioned by the church. You are a witness. 
you are in the vineyard of the Lord. We shall overcome. In Christ Jesus, we are more than conquerors. We are an army, an army of the Lord Jesus, and we shall overcome. We shall be victorious. The body of Christ will glow. The kingdom of God will glow because we shall be conquerors. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.